everybody, it's Mama J. And Wingles the Elf. We are here with day 13 of our Vlogmas. You've been here 13 days, Wingles. Yep. I know you've gone home to visit, because Spectre's come out here to visit. But 13 days, that's quite a bit. It is. It is. <laughs> um, so today we're going to discuss some toys throughout the decades. Okay. All right, um, like what was the most popular toy during that decade? Okay. All right. Um, some of these are way, way before I was born, before you were born. Well, I don't know, Wingles, how old are you? I'm a couple hundred years old. Oh, well, then these were probably around when you were around. Yes. You probably built some of these toys. Well, I'm pretty sure I have. Um, so let's start with the first one. In 1910, do you know what the number one toy was? It was a teddy bear. It was a teddy bear, Wingles. Um, the reason for the teddy bear, bear was President Roosevelt had refused to shoot a bear that was tied up. And um, that whole story, I mean, there's a long story to it, all developed in the teddy bear. Yep. And that's how the teddy bear became. Um, so, in the 1920s, ironically, do you know what the number one toy was? What was the one in the 1920s? It was the yo-yo. Oh. Do you like the yo-yo? Uh, I can make it go up and down. <laughs> can you walk the dog? I don't have any dogs. <laughs> it's a yo-yo trick. Um, there's like walk the dog around the world. Um, in 1928, they, be they began manufacturing... The yo-yo. And it was the number one toy in the 1920s. Wow. And they didn't even manufacture it until 28. Wow. So in two years, it became the number one toy. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Now, the 1930s was a doll. Do you know what doll? The uh, Shirley Temple doll? It was. It was the Shirley Temple doll. Um, at six years old, Shirley Temple Black, who is the person the doll was made after she had already done 20 films by the age of six wow yeah yeah crazy right um when the doll was invented it ran between three and five dollars that was considered a pricey toy yeah it's pretty expensive for back in the day <laughs> yeah no kidding right um that's pretty crazy um i do know in the year 2010 they sold one on ebay for fifteen hundred over fifteen hundred dollars. Wow. That's crazy, right? Crazy. For a Shirley Temple doll. Wow. Love to have one of those dolls. Um in the nineteen forties, do you know what the number one toy was? It was the Slinky. It was the Slinky. As simple of a toy as it is, kinda like the yo-yo. Very simple. But it was the number one toy in the nineteen forties. It launched in nineteen forty five. So halfway through the 40s before it even launched. So that's pretty good. Yep. That's pretty good. Um, in the 1950s, do you know what the number one toy was? It was a Mr. Potato Head. Now, we did a trivia on this once. Do you know that when Mr. Potato Head was first invented, it was just, well, you should know because you probably helped build them. Um, it was just the body parts, like not the actual potato. It yeah. was just the eyes, the ears, the mouth. The arms, the hands, and it actually was um, for kids to put on all kinds of vegetables, not just a potato. And um, it actually had 28 face and body parts when they first invented it. Hasbro purchased it, the idea, in 1952. So that's pretty good. Yeah. It also was the first toy to ever have its own commercial. Oh, okay. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. You yeah, know. Okay, so 1960s. Do you know what the number one toy was? It was G.I. Joe. It was a G.I. Joe. And she was more than just the bad boy for Barbie to date. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hasbro launched the action figure, and they made sure they called it an action figure over a doll. Because... 
little boys didn't really want to play with dolls. But they'd play with an action figure. They were both dolls. She made it, he made a really good boyfriend for Barbie. So in 1970s, do you know what the number one toy was? I don't remember much of the 70s. So was we have a cat? guest. Ranger, do you want to join us? If was it a cat? No, it was not a cat. Um, you want to lay down or something so the people can see something besides your body? There you go. So in the 1970s, the number one toy, which actually didn't even, the movies for it didn't even come out till 1977, was the Star Wars action figures. Oh, okay. And what I did find out was the, um, in May 1977, Kenner had not started um, to produce toys yet for the movie. And instead of kids opening um, the actual toys during 1977 for Christmas, they were given little vouchers that could be turned into the toys. Like one for Darth Vader, there was one for Princess Leia, one for Han Solo. And, you know, I mean, I was a, a child at the time. I don't remember that. But they said it was kind of like... Um, the toys were in high demand before the company even. You know, we always laugh now. Here's the thing. We laugh now because they put out toys for movies that haven't even dropped yet. But they expect them to be big. Yeah. In 1977, they didn't make any toys for Star Wars. And then they realized, oh my God, look how big this is. So the toys, you know, here comes Christmas. All the kids want Star Wars toys, and instead they're getting little pieces of paper saying, you can turn this in for a toy once it's made. <laughs> so did the elves make the pieces of paper? No. Okay. I just thought I'd ask. I know we did that one year with Spectre for the Wii. We could not get our hands on one, so he got a voucher until we could get our hands on one. So... Uh, but that was a pretty cool toy. So in 1980s, do you know what the number one toy was? Cabbage Patch Kids. It was a Cabbage Patch Kid. Everybody wanted to adopt the Cabbage Patch Kid. They came in so many... It was like one of the first toys that um, kind of was set to look like you. You know, you could buy one that resembled you. If you could get your hands on one that resembled you. Um, in 1983, all kids wanted one. Um, by the end of 1983, three million Cabbage Patch dolls had been adopted. Wow. Now, if I remember correctly, and I could be wrong, I did not look this up. This is all based off memory. I believe when you got the Cabbage Patch doll, you got a birth certificate in there that you could register. So I don't know if the three million are the ones that actually were registered through the adoption or if they um, were just how many were sold. But either way, that's quite a few. That's a lot. So, I got the cat's tail flinging my notes everywhere. I can see that. <laughs> um, so, let's see. 19, we only got a couple more we're going to do. So, in the 1990s, there were two toys that kind of ranked up there for top place. Do you know what those two toys were? Beanie Babies and a Tickle Me Elmo. Beanie Babies and a Tickle Me Elmo. Beanie Babies, uh, a lot of people have compared them to Funko Pops because there were there was one for everybody pretty much. And based on if they were retired or like we say vaulted, but if they were retired or this or that, it would uh, kind of tell you how much the the Beanie Baby was worth. And Tickle Me Elmo's, again, everybody was waiting to get their hands on one. I mean, they were a pretty popular item. They were very, very popular. And in 1996, crowds that were trying to get their hands on, like, the Tickle Me Elmo's and stuff, they were actually injuring um, employees that were working at locations. Because they were just, like, stampeding to the item. That's just wow. crazy. 
Yeah. You guys can't do something about that up there at the North Pole? Like, make more of them or something? How many elves do you think are there? I don't know. Um, and then 2,000 was an item actually we just talked about. Do you know what the number one item selling in the year 2000 was? The weed. The weed. Kids wanted that weed. Spectre wanted that weed and he played with it maybe a dozen times. And then we ended up giving it away after it sat for, I don't know, a year or more. Um, in 2006, 100 million units in the first seven years were sold. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. But the Wii was a great game. I mean, I, I'm sure people still haven't played it. But um, it was a great family game for younger kids. Supposed to be an active kind of game. Um, most gamers just want to sit, so I don't think it worked well for most gamers. I mean, do you play a lot of games or, you know, at the North Pole where you got to stand? We play a lot of VR. Well, VR, but other than that, most of the time you're sitting, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's usually what it is. But those are some of the toys. Um, tell us down below if you owned any of those toys. Um, we owned a Wii. Everybody owned a yo-yo and a slinky. Um, I had what was called an ice cream doll, not a Cabbage Patch doll. I didn't want the Cabbage Patch doll. I remember that my grandmother was going to buy me one, and I wanted the ice cream doll. And the ice cream doll was basically looked like a Cabbage Patch doll, but was bigger. And it had an ice cream necklace. <laughs> um, I'm not even sure if that's what they were called. We called them ice cream dolls. Um, but other than that, I think out of the toys, I mean, everybody's owned a teddy bear. Um, obviously, we've all owned a Mr. Potato Head. You know, so there was all kinds of toys. Star Wars, I still have some of the original Star Wars figures stored away. So, any of these toys you played with, Wingles? Um, a lot. I remember having, you know, G.I. Joe when they were being made. You know, we used to play with them at the... Do you guys North get in Pole. trouble for playing with the toys? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> any other toys you had? Hmm... Not really after the list here. We've had pretty much the same. You know, we've all had teddy bears. And... Yeah, everyone's had a teddy bear and a yo-yo and a slinky and a Mr. Potato Head. Um, I think those four toys are still toys that kids get nowadays. Yeah, we still make a couple thousand yo-yos a year. Yeah, so. All right, so um, that's some toys. Just kind of touch base on toys throughout the time. So now we're going to do our advent calendars. What day are we on, Wingles? Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. All right. So we have this one here, and we're on a new Ooh, row. A new row. Got a red bag. Now we've got some really cool ones out of here. Flocked, metallic. Yeah. And this one we have rabbits. That's pretty cool. This is Goku's brother. Oh, we got too much hair. Way too much hair. Yeah, that's the only bad thing is they're going to be really hard to display and stand up. Um, probably going to have to like glue them to something to stand. Um, because they all have big heads with lots of hair. <laughs> so, all right. So now let's pull out the Pixar calendar. And we are on day 13, right? So right now our last set was... Uh, Wally, we got Wally there. And then, the then we had the sticker with the shoe and the plant. So now we're gonna go here. I'm hoping for maybe an Eve. And woo, look at there. These are one of the hardest to take out. All right, <laughs> there's Eve. Very cute, very, very cute. That's really cute. Really tiny. So, um, again, these will probably be given away in sets based on the theme. So, do know that once we break them all up there. And then, today being day 13, I believe you open our mini mystery? Yep. 
Let me grab the bag over here. All right. We're flying light right along. I mean, we're 13 days in here. Ooh. Here we have a Mega Constructs Halo. All right, you got to put that together. We'll have to speed up the camera while you guys watch. Voila! That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Alrighty then. There it is. That's pretty cool. So it's this one. I thought it was this one, but it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there's our mini mystery for the day. That's pretty cool. I put that with uh, Spectre's Halo stuff, and he'll come home and be like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so 13 days down, 11 more videos, and then it'll be Christmas. Now, don't forget, you're looking for the reindeer's name. Which name did I forget? We're down to the, almost the end. Tomorrow's the last day for this contest. So... We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!